Yes, so Prometheus Materials is addressing a major problem, and that problem is concrete. Concrete is the second most used material on Earth, second only to water, and it's responsible for producing 8% of Earth's CO2 emissions on an annual basis and consuming 9% of industrial water. So the problem we're dealing with is very large and very dirty from a climate perspective. But it's actually much worse than that. Building stock is projected to double between now and 2060. That's the equivalent of building a new New York City every month for the next 37 years. So Prometheus Materials uses algae. We stimulate a process called biomineralization of calcium carbonate, which is a process very similar to what nature uses to create seashells and coral reefs. We mix that with aggregate and some other things to create a very ultra-low carbon alternative material to concrete. So our bioconcrete is highly scalable. It reduces the carbon footprint of concrete by an estimated 70 to 90 percent. We return virtually all of the water that we use in the process back to the earth, back to the atmosphere. We exceed the compressive strength requirements for concrete, and we have flexural strength that's about 10 times as strong as concrete. Our partners are world class, including Skidmore, Owens & Merrill, the architectural firm that architected the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa over in Dubai, as well as One World Trade Center. GAF BMI Roofing, uh, the largest roofing materials company in the world. Microsoft, who's building 50 to 100 data centers worldwide on an annual basis. Uh, Sophie Nova Partners in Paris, as well as Autodesk Foundation. So our model overall is to use licensing to license our technology to companies uh, throughout the world that are producing cement, concrete, and concrete products with an overall goal of achieving a reduction in CO2 emissions worldwide by a gigaton per year.